much as we can. So it's not so deep in here. It's already it's knee deep. Just here at the entrance and yeah, it gets a little bit deeper. Right, this is up to my thighs right here. the waters to see if we can even get past the flooded portal section of this mine. Alright, so we are waist deep here. Uh, we're about 50 or so feet in now. We have to uh, go the distance and get soaked. So my waders are flooded. Graham went in with just jeans, hiking boots. Uh, yeah, now we're, we're past the worst part, so walking on the ore cart rails here. And yeah, the water is shallow. Pretty thick ore cart rails in the water here. We got knee deep. So now my legs weigh a ton, but we got through this. Alright, so we're just around the corner. We just came from that way through the flooded part. This nice convenient platform. Work out tracks. So the work out tracks turn me right there. A little bit more water on the ground again. Some of the ties. Water's kicking back up in there. Instead of blowing out towards the portal. So it looks like they just removed the rails and they kind of just threw the ties to the side. There's a little alcove with a bunch of wood stacked. We've got a raise going up that way. This little platform down here. Something back up towards the entrance. Here looks like it comes flooded again. Looks like it might not be quite as deep as the first section that we had to go through. And it's starting to shallow out, so. So just after the flooded part we have this little intersection here. The tunnel going out that way, or it might just be an alco. Check it out real quick. It looks like it's kind of a tunnel. We've got an ore cart rail here. It looks like it might just terminate right here. No, it rounds the corner, it keeps going. here. So back at the intersection, this is the left tunnel. Uh, we've got some pipes here. That looks like it goes up to that raise that we saw earlier. There's a rope and looks like the tunnel kind of continues this way. It's a little alcove. This looks like it's heading back towards the main tunnel the way we came in. And yeah, it just stops right there. So that raise is right above us right now. 
that, yeah, there's a rope ladder that goes up that way. I'm not sure if we can make it up there today. And this is one of the shafts. And this goes down a couple hundred feet and it's completely flooded. And there's the manway ladder down there. And I believe these two wooden rails that you can see are for the carts to be brought up. And yeah, I'm not gonna step on the collar or anything like that because it's all underwater. So you can see a little bit better with Graham's light down there. It's got the nice, clear, bright blue color. So this has actually been explored by some divers about 10 years ago, which is pretty incredible. I can't really imagine going down in there and exploring it all underwater, so that's pretty crazy. So this is the intersection. Continuing on straight now. Piping on the ground. Tunnel kind of splits off. Just a dead end, so it's like this might be the main one, so I've got the ties. See the water is kind of flowing pretty good out. Got another fork here. A dead end. Tunnel curves around. It's got a little trough on the side. This much water flowing out means that the other wind is probably right up here because it's also flooded. So head down the tunnel, there's this wooden trough on the ground. I haven't seen anything like that before. It only goes for about 20 feet. So just past that wooden trough on the ground and we've come to the second winds in this mine. Where the tunnel continues, but the winds takes up the entire tunnel, so they have these collars you can walk across, but we're not going to walk across that because we don't want to fall in. And yeah, the ladder is one of the cooler looking features about this winds. Yeah, I'm not sure how far back the tunnel goes after this, but we're going to stop here and head on out after we get some photos of this. One last look at the winds before we're heading back out since we can't go any further. This looks almost crystal clear like you can't even see the water in, until it starts rippling. This used to be worked by the miners. <laughs> 